Hello, this is Code Red. Welcome to the second Coding Bat video. This is, uh, once again, a cool website, and I'm showing you the next few problems on here. So let's kick it off now. So we're going to write, uh, let's see, return true if a number is within 10 of 100 or 200. Okay. So if math dot absolute value, that's what this means. Uh, and sorry if I sound a little stuffy, I'm still sick. Can't wait to get over it. Uh, I'm getting better though. So let's see, uh, math.abs is, uh, hmm, let's do 100 minus n is less than or equal to 10. And uh, let's see, or math.abs. Uh, 200 minus n is uh, less than or equal to 10. Then we'll return true. Okay, and else return false. Okay, let's go. There we go. Got all right. So there's that one. Let's go to the next one. Uh, let's see. So let's see. Return true if a num if two numbers if one is negative and one is positive. Unless the parameter negative is true, then they must both then they both must be negative. Okay. So let's do if uh, negative is true. And uh, let's see, then we'll return uh, a is less than zero and b is less than zero because that's what that means. Okay, and we'll write an else return uh, a is greater than zero and b is greater than zero, or less than zero. Uh, let's see, or b, or let's see, or a is less than zero, and b is greater than zero, okay? And let's see, let's put parentheses around these. Let's see, and there, and there, okay? And let's try it out now. There we go. Got it all right. Let's go to the next one. Uh, let's see. Not string. Okay. So let's see if. Uh, okay. So if there's a string, if it uh, has not in front of it, just return the string. If it doesn't have not in front of it, you add not to it. So if uh, str string dot length is greater than or equal to three, and uh, and uh, str dot sub string uh, zero comma three dot equals so we're checking to see if it equals something equals not then we will uh, return oh forgot always seem to forget that one we'll return uh, str return string and then else we will return str or we'll return not in parentheses plus str because we're adding strings together and let's go and there we go got all right let's go to the next one missing character okay so um we're taking out a character from a 
from a uh, word. So see right here it says kitten, and they're sh telling you where you uh, what place the letter you want to take out. So it's one. So you go zero one right there. Zero one right there is the I, and then it takes it out. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do uh, string uh, f front is equal to str dot length uh, zero comma n. Okay. Now we're gonna make a back one. Back is equal to str dot length. Then we're gonna do n plus one so that we uh, don't grab the n wherever you don't grab the n so say right here so we're doing uh, n would be one right here uh, it would be this if you were to not do plus one it would add the i and then you just be putting kitten back together so we're doing n plus one comma str dot length so it goes to the end and then we're going to do uh, return char at the character at um, str dot uh, sub string um, hmm trying to remember str dot sub string thinking n Oh no, because we're putting it back together. So we're doing character at the end of. Uh, okay, so zero, comma. Ah, uh, confusing. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here's what it is. This is part of a different one that I got confused with. So instead, we're just going to return front plus back. Lots of extra work for nothing. Uh, length. I think I misspelled something. What I do? Mm. Let's see. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Okay. So I just looked at the solution just because I've done this one before. And here's what my simple problem was. I put length for some reason. So we're going to do uh, substring. That's the correct one. I should have known that. And now we should be able to get it. There we go. All correct. Let's go to the next one. Okay. So let's see. Um, we're going to do an if statement. Return a new string where the first and last characters have been exchanged. Okay, so if uh, str dot length is less than or equal to three, then we will return str plus str plus str strings. Returning that over again to make it. Oh wait, no, 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 no. That's another one I just got confused with. Ah. Okay, so it's not that. If it's less than... Hold on. I'm just going to start over, I think. Uh, return string, give it a new string where... Okay, there we go. Let's return str. And, uh... Wait, is less than or equal to 1? Okay. And then, uh, let's see. We'll make a string. Uh, we'll name it middle or mid. And we'll make it equal to str dot substring. And it's going to be zero, comma. Wait, no. So we're taking the first letter. We're taking okay. We're gonna do one, 
comma str dot length minus one minus one and then we're going to return uh, character at str dot length and we'll make it um, we need to get the first letter so we're gonna make it zero length at zero and uh, okay I think that should work maybe just in case we'll add another zero I'm not sure exactly Oh no no no! We need the end to put here. So dot length uh, str dot length. Oh no, substring. Ah, I always conf. I don't know why. T today I'm confusing them. Okay, string. There we go. Length, and we need to go str dot substring. Okay, so we need to get to the length of. Um hmm. Let's put it at the end. So we need to go uh, uh I don't know why I can't get this. I can't think of it. I'll be right back. Okay, here's what it is. Here's the beginning. Okay. And then, that's the beginning. Then we're going to add the middle. Mid plus uh, character at zero. And let's see if that works. Oh, wait. I don't think this will. Because I think I'm missing something. Yeah. Now let's try. Let's try zero. Okay, I'll bear it back again. Here's what it is. Don't need substring. It's just this. Because this is already getting the character at, so I don't need to get a substring within that. Should have realized that. So then the str dot length is there. So it's getting that. Don't need that. And now it's what is it? Be right back once again. Okay, here's what it is. You have to make sure it's a string, otherwise it doesn't know what string to take it out of. So you're taking it out of str. There we go. Man, that took a while. Let's go to the next one, finally. Okay, uh, we're taking the front three. So we're going to write, we're getting the front three and we're putting it there three times. So if str.length is less than three, uh, then we'll return, or less than or equal to three. Then we'll return str plus str plus str. This is the one I got confused with earlier. Okay, and then we're going to do a substring, I believe. Yeah, substring. We're going to do string, uh, no, not parentheses. Uh, let's get the f front. And then we're going to make it equal to str dot substring uh, zero comma three and then we're gonna do uh, str no return get there we go okay <laughs> had to slow down um, we're gonna turn front plus front plus front okay see if that works uh... what i do oh forgot this if it's an array you don't need the parentheses okay got it all right
So there's the next few problems in here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.